people, it's Terhi here, and today I'm making a guest designer layout for Pyslotek. Uh, Pyslotek is a Swedish craft store, and I got the privilege to make some guest designer projects for them. Uh, I'm starting with white cardstock and Versamark pen. Uh, I draw some circles with it, and now I'm adding embossing powder and heating it. Uh, it creates a nice texture on the background and kind of um, continues my uh, pencil draw lines. Uh, I'm also using the Versamark pen to this chipboard frame. Um, I'm adding some some embossing powder to it and also heating it up. Uh, then I'm continuing with my background. I made some some my own mists with uh, Prima Marketing uh, makeup powders. I have a, a gold pink, this one, this really light one, and uh, the darker one, the red one, is uh, sherry, black sherry or something like that. Um, I made just a small amount of this uh, mist kind of liquid and now adding it and some water to the background to get this uh, color spread up a lot. These makeup powders can be used with anything uh, like gel medium or gesso or something and uh, it takes some time to um, spread around so this is about one hour later, so as you can see, it really took some time uh, to spread and create this nice textured background. I added some stamping and now I'm using the mica powder in another way. I'm adding texture paste and some powder to it. I first added this gold pink one, but it's really, really that gold that it wasn't um, much more than white, so I added this cherry one, and now I have this nice pink paste. Uh, I'm using Tim Holtz stencil to create some texture on the background, and adding it here and there. Uh, not the whole pattern, but some here and some there, just to make this a uh, random kind of look. I got some Prima Marketing papers to play with and uh, I chose these uh, nice pastel tones as I have a picture of my daughter who turned 5 years old so it's nice to continue this uh, girly, <laughs> and, um, girly look that matches to the, to, to the photograph I have. Um, I did this paper cluster and now I'm adding some more papers and the frame. I cut the frame in half because I didn't want it to be too straight or even or anything like that. So I cut it in half and now I'm adding it like here and there just to uh, give some, some contrast and, uh, and some dimension for the page. Um, I used uh, almost pink embossing powder, but as you see, I did a really light layer so it doesn't show up too much. And now I find, found these uh, Dear Lizzy uh, chipboard stickers, and I thought these matches perfectly for this layout, and uh, these candles um, are like dot over e or something how do you say it in english anyway they match uh, perfectly for this layout and uh, i'm using some glue as well even though they had their own glue but i don't think that's enough and i'm adding some stamping on top of the papers so they don't look like uh, too lonely uh, then I'm adding these huge glass looking diamonds from Prima Marketing and these uh, crystals and sequins also from Prima Marketing. Um, I kind of like this uh, 
pastel uh, colors on this layout but then again <laughs> I, I needed to add this black stamping here and there to have some contrast and uh, to look more like me it's, it wasn't wouldn't look like my layout it, if it doesn't have uh, any any black dots or something here and there uh, I'm finishing the layout with misting some um, pink mists from the Renards and some black mists from the Renards and here it is um, this was very fun and I would never bought these uh, Prima marketing papers if I wouldn't be a guest designer of Opus Lotex. So thank you for the honor. <laughs> um, this was fun and thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye!